Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's haul. So there was no new items this week. I think they're getting ready for all their fall items. So it should be exciting time. Hopefully I think within the next like two weeks, I think the fall stuff is finally gonna start coming in. And we do have our first official item in store. I don't know if you guys spotted over there, but it's one of my favorites. So definitely was excited to see that today. So let's get into this. Let me share with you what I got this week. So first up, I just picked up some of the organic shredded kale. I made a kale salad a couple of weeks ago, and I typically don't even like kale, and it was so good. I make a homemade dressing, and the key is massaging the kale in olive oil so it makes it nice and soft and it's not tough after you massage it and it was so good. So I'm gonna have that again this week and then I mix the kale with cabbage. So instead of just getting a head of cabbage, I just got this mix that it's already done and it has carrots and then the red and green cabbage in there. So I'm gonna mix those two and then make the dressing for that. We were all out of everything but the elote seasoning. This stuff is so good. I have been making this with corn and then um, habaneros. Um, I get the corn and I roast it up on the pan with some habaneros and avocado oil and then I sprinkle this seasoning on top and then add some Parmesan cheese. It's really good. So I needed another one of this. Uh, we needed some mustard, so just the organic yellow mustard, some refried beans over here. And then I grabbed a bag of the organic red potatoes, three pounds. I'm gonna be doing my sriracha bacon potato salad. It's one of Brent's favorite recipes. We'll probably have that with steak. I was gonna get the grass-fed steak at Trader Joe's, but the prices were just too expensive, and Walmart actually has such a better deal on their grass-fed meats. Uh, so next week, I'm gonna go to Walmart and just pick up my steaks there, and I'll probably stock up on some grass-fed ground beef there as well. Uh, we needed some heirloom cherry tomatoes. Gonna make some homemade pico de gallo with this. And then we grabbed some limes over here. So I mentioned habaneros earlier because my garden is in full bloom and I have so many habaneros and I did not know what to do with it. So I did some research and so that's what this lime is for. I am going to um, cut up the habanero and then I'm gonna peel the limes and I'm gonna do the lime peels and the habaneros in the oven and I'm gonna dehydrate them and then I'm gonna add them to salt. So I'm gonna be making like a habanero lime salt. I'm so excited for this. It sounds like it's gonna be so good and it uses up my habanero so they don't go to waste. So I'm excited to do that this week. I decided to pick up some of their marshmallows. I wanna make some homemade Rice Krispie treats for the kids. So I grabbed two bags of this. I still need to get the Rice Krispie treats. They didn't have the cereal at um, Trader Joe's. They do usually have it, but they didn't have it this week. So I'll have to go to another store. Maybe while I'm at Walmart getting the steak, I can pick that up. We are in full force stocking up in these shots. I'm telling you, these guys are a lifesaver. The kids are back to school and always they get sick. Tristan came home like a week ago with like a runny nose and a little bit of cough and he was drinking these. I gave these ones to him because these are like the least, um, I guess this is like the one that tastes the best. Like ginger, obviously, you know, that has that spice, that kick. Turmeric is another one, but pineapple is really sweet. And he drank these. I think he had like three in a row, not like in the day, but like for three days straight, he drank the pineapple shots and it never got worse than that. He just had like a little bit of a runny nose and that was it. And he's all better. So I swear by these shots, we all take them and these are all the flavors that they carry. Um, so I get them every week now and we all take them now, including Tristan, but he only only does the pineapple flavor. I grabbed some more tater tots for the kids. Lakeland has been loving these crackers, dipping them in hummus in her lunches. So everything but the bagel seasoned bite-sized crackers. These are her favorite. And now my favorite is back in stores, the apple cider donuts. These are my favorite, I love them. I almost had one of these on the way home because I have not eaten anything. I have been out and running errands all morning, um, but I had my Starbucks drink, so that held me over. But but as soon as I'm done filming this, I am going to bust into these. These are my favorite. So yeah, glad to see that the fall items are slowly rolling in. Oh, one of my favorite cheeses, the cheddar cheese with scotch bonnet chilies and red peppers. Had to pick that up again. I picked up the organic tomato and basil marinara sauce. We're gonna be doing some Parmesan chicken sandwiches uh, one night for dinner this week. So that's why I picked up the marinara sauce to go on top of the chicken parm. 
Uh, this was Brent's secret item a couple of weeks ago, and I can't believe how much we loved this salsa. It's unassuming. Like when you just look at the packaging, I've never picked it up because it just didn't seem that great, but it really is great for chips and salsa. We loved it, so I had to pick up another bottle of that. I also decided to pick this up again, the brioche style waffles with pearl sugars. These are another great item. If you guys saw that taste test, we all loved them. And another easy um, breakfast option in the mornings for school. So we picked that up. I got some more uh, cookies for the kids to pack in their lunches, the sunflower butter cookies with roasted sunflower seeds. They are vegan and gluten-free. I picked up the cold brew coffee bags. It comes with four coffee bags in here. This is a summer item, so I wanted to definitely pick this up before they no longer carry it. Brent has been loving taking cold brew um, to work with him every week, so I just use one bag in like a big, uh, I forget how many liters it is, but I have like one of those big mason jars, and I just put one bag in there, fill it with water, let it sit overnight, and then you take out the uh, bag of coffee in the next morning, and then you've got cold brew for the week, so so easy and delicious too. He said that he brought it to work, and everyone loved the coffee that he brought, so everyone else at his work enjoys it too. I picked this up for Brent. This sounded really good. Me and Brett have really been enjoying mead lately, and that is definitely hard to find. This is not mead, but it did remind me of it because it's a honey blonde brew. It's brewed with local honey um, from Tennessee. So I decided, hmm, I think Brett might like that. We'll definitely give this a try. It sounded good. And then I have always wanted one of these, so I decided to finally pick it up. I saw it in stores. This is the Venus fly trap, a carnivorous plant. So I don't know if you guys have seen these or heard about these, but it looks like the little claws. It almost reminds me of Mar is it Mario Party with those little flowers that will eat you. But anyways, these are supposed to catch flies. And I thought the kids would absolutely love this if we actually see it catch a fly. Who knows if it actually is going to or not, but I thought I would give it a try, why not? So yeah, we picked that up this week. Last but not least, I got the Joe O cereal bars, the peanut butter flavor, and it comes with five of them for Brent. He loves taking those to work with him. And then my flowers are still going strong. These are from last week, if you guys saw last week's haul. Okay, so that is everything this week. No new items, so that means no taste test this week. We are gonna miss you. But I hope you guys still enjoyed, and I'm excited for all the fall items coming in soon. So we will see you next week. Bye.